I'm going to demonstrate the buckle wipers technique with conventional implants. So just come closer. Let me explain you from the OPG. So as you see from the OPG X-ray, upper jaw has been done with basal implants. Now mind you, this is a very resorbed case, and plus the patient is having OSMF, oral submucous fibrosis. So mouth opening is also limited. Plus in the lower jaw, he had some attempted implants which have not gone well. So as you see here, I've already finished the upper jaw, and we finished the lower jaw. Now we are doing this left side with a buccal bypass and you can see some rarefaction here which i'm going to avoid so i'm going to do the buccal bypass over here now ideal position for the buccal bypass as you see here i'm going to do it here where my cursor is ideal position would have been this position here but i cannot go so deep in the mouth because his mouth opening is less so i'm going to do the buccal bypass with a open flap approach because i don't want to end up in this rarefaction zones so just what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a crystal incision and two releasing incisions and i will show you how to do the buccal bypass just come closer for the sake of saving time i have already reflected the flap here you can see the incision here and you can see two vertical releasing incisions you can see this is the first rarefaction zone which i showed you on the opg Please take suction and this is the second rarefaction zone and this is the area which I showed you on the OPG where I want to work okay so first I am creating my lens drill so this is my lens drill which I am going to go not only buccal lingual to buccal but also I will go slightly distally like this okay just, just tell me okay you can see now section yeah. dotty here yeah, we are section dotty perfect okay done okay 